Hello everyone, it's me again, GW fan of Soft Cobra, and welcome you back to the theater on Let's Play Daydreaming Derpy! I keep wanting to say Derpy's Daydream. <laughs> That's why I always hesitate every time I say that. Fortunately, the name is up there on the screen for me, but before I go any further, uh, I do, I realize, I haven't said yet, uh, if you guys want to play this as well, I do have a link to download it in the video description, in every single video, so... Yeah, go do that if you want, but anyway... Back here in Theater 3, we have, uh, well, Evil Trixie. Or is it? It's not. Yeah, for some reason we end up with the battle against Trixie, we... Uh, well, with the... Magician's assistant job, except we can have Trixie fighting Trixie and whatnot. So, yeah, okay. Ha! <laughs> yeah, let's just beat up on Trixie. Well, actually, since you spotlight hit them all, it doesn't matter how much damage you do to that one. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> also, since I. No. Oh. Do I, am I still going to get to finish my turn? <coughs> I am. Also, so, Limestone Splash. After some testing, it's exactly the same as Shrill Voice. Same amount of gravity type damage, or L percentage damage, whatever you want to call it. Uh, just this is physical and the other one's magical. And, of course, Pony Tones, you know, costs MP <laughs> and has healing. So that one's just flat out better. But, yeah, there's, that, that's how that works. Wow. And yeah, we don't get anything for that. So, and we come out of the wrong theater door. So, glitch? Maybe? I don't know, but I want my stamp back from you, Trixie, and, well, I'll mess with my other stamps later. So. Let's get out of here, because I have my, the last string I need for the balloon. Or, well, the string I need now from that door, and the balloon from the other door, so... Alright, now we can fly around, because up logic, I guess. Yeah, we'll be fine. Yeah, we're ready to take off now, so just travel. And now we get to, well, what's essentially the overworld. We now have semi-free reign of the world, except we can't go here right now. This is basically the final area. I mean, we can go in here, but there's nowhere we can go because we need some permanent party members, as it were, to go there. But we'll have to find them first and also complete some, uh, some other things. We also have, well, you might notice these kind of dead ends here. Uh, these two we cannot go to yet. Yeah, there's a sign here. Entries allowed only to those who've caught up on Meridewell number one and Meridewell number two. We will find those in these other three areas here. And then, well, t actually, the not the red cloud, but the other two clouds have the two Meridewell things there, if I remember correctly, I believe. And yeah, the sign here. Bring proof of the magics. And we'll find that in all three of these other clouds. Otherwise, we also have these other two dead ends up here, which we actually can do something with now. Sure, let's go in. Oh, I'm still just as a construction worker. And, uh... Hey! It's Goldie! Golden Delicious? I think, if I recall correctly, was the name right? Ginger, huh? I hope that's the smell of ginger. Uh, not really. Just stopping in to say hi, because, you know, it was a dream and... Derpy has no sense of personal space, I guess. How does that even work? Oh. And we get a Zap Apple Jam 4 ounce, which uh, revives a party member with half HP and MP. It's just kind of crazy. Yeah, you're, uh, well, thanks. I was going to say you're welcome, but no, I've, I've got that backwards. <laughs> yeah, it is Goldie Delicious. Okay, Goldie Delicious, not Golden Delicious. 
Big Mama G? Did she say that in the show? I don't quite recall. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'd like to hear your story. Remember, it's like to drift off towards family, huh? Well, not so much in the dream world. You can see this little tiny picture. Let's just get back. But, uh, well, I'm going to avoid going to these three clouds at the moment. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, let's uh, wake up. Because somehow or another, her dream has traveled to the real world. Actually, was it... I think it was... No, 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 no. Actually, it's over here. Sorry. That's right. I remember... Oh, I should have went the other way. Oh, well. Whatever. Hey, Rainbow Dash, I could beat up on you some more, but... Oh, actually, I already did off-screen. Well, before last time. But yeah, all of a sudden, Winona shows up on the bench. You still can't talk to Lyra Harpstrings, but... Arf. And we get a hazy memory out of that, so... I could buy some items. Well, I could buy some items. Hmm. But, nah, I don't need to do that yet. It's not necessary. This game is really not... Oh, I should go the other way. It's really not that difficult, so... <laughs> Yeah, now we just go back to Goldie Delicious, and, well, it's not really a long trip, but, oh, oh, no, this one. But I'll meet you there all the same. Got a little bit of time out of that. And it's all coming back to her now, like boomerang. Never really sat down to that much. Like, every once in a while, like, like not recently, but, like, every once in a while, I'd check it out late nights, because it'd be weird odd shows on that I, I don't even know. I mean, that it's not like, you know, Adult Swim or anything like that. It's just like really weird old shows. <laughs> and we get a carrot sandwich, which, as I recall, restores 30 HP and MP, which is nice, I guess. It's always apple fritters. Carbs. Oh, yeah? I guess. Oh. Yeah, I guess it is. I mean, if you guys eat a lot of those Apple uh, products, there's going to be a lot of sugar in that, isn't there? <laughs> so, not from the apples themselves, of course, but just, you know, apple pies, apple fritters. Yeah, a lot of apple recipes call for adding sugar, so... <laughs> Oh. Oh. Memory's up and gone again. Yeah, I'll go fetch that real quick. So, meet you back in the real world. Out the door. And over this away. Hey, Pony Tones, you turned out to be way better than I thought. Where... There she is. Get Winona again. I don't know why it's always Winona, but it, it is. So, cherish memory. And back to Goldie Delicious again. Hey, found your memory. Just as long as it was of the brain. Peaches and pine cones. You sure you're not related to Trixie? Oh. But apple orchards don't grow from pine cones. Or pineapples, for that matter. <laughs> oh, we get a Griffin Stone candy, which that was the 80 uh, MP one, if I recall, so that's nice. Your first pup? You mean your first kid? Oh, you mean literally a dog, huh? Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's actually another member we gotta go find, so back to the real world. This would be so much easier if I wasn't trying to avoid those other three areas. But anyway, right over here. Oh, you know what? I never read this sign. Yeah, marketplace, Winnie Square, and yeah. And we got a blocked memory for some reason. So, okay. 
I don't really need to avoid these sea places. It's not like I couldn't just leave afterwards, but <laughs> just in case of whatever, figure I might as well. Welcome back. I'm glad to be back. Oh. <laughs> you don't have to. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh. Oh, well, that's, that's, that's a dog for you. Trust me, I had a dog that tried to eat basically anything she could find, and it was, it actually was pretty bad. <laughs> Not because there was, like, trash or anything, but because she tried to eat, uh, dog feces, too. So, yeah. <laughs> Not to mention the fence. She'd bite on the dang wooden fence. That was some dog. <laughs> Someone took her, though. We have never fact figured out who, but someone took her. Can you believe it? Ah, oh, I see. Huh. Well, you never know. I wasn't entirely paying attention to that story because I was telling my own story about a dog, so... <laughs> no? I guess, but yeah, for listening to her stories, we get Twilight's autobiography, which we cannot do anything with at the moment unless we have three more autobiographies. And as far as I'm aware, she's asleep for the rest of the game after you've helped her, so... There's that, so... Yeah, the other thing you could do is come over here, but before I do that... I want to change up my stamps a little bit. Oh, I was using this against the uh, other Trixie. <laughs> but, let's yeah, see, I want the Star Swirl stamp. Actually, no, I don't want the Star Swirl stamp. I want the Hospital stamp. And... Well, actually, the Stamp Princess would be fine, now that I think about it. Yeah, sure, why not? And the Tortoise stamp... Well, actually, now that I've done that, I should go up real quick, which is easy enough. Yay. But anyway, the other thing we can do, did I change my, no I did not, change my uniform to the Pony Tones, or the construction worker I suppose, but either way, yeah, let's get down. Uh-oh. And we're kind of drawn into the middle of this, so. And yeah, we get to fight Pinky and Cheese Sandwich for some reason. But yeah. And we have our Shrill Note, which hits all enemies because, of course, it does. Anakin can use. Ow! I do not want to get below like 60 HP because both of these two can drop stuff on it. Well, Cheese will drop his his uh, bigger party cannon on you, and Pinky, I think she's still out. We'll try to drop. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and heal. Yeah, I think she'll still try to drop a freaking steamroller on you. So, oh, jeez. Nice. A freaking confusion, man. Ow. Yeah. Let's, uh, heal up a little bit. Ow. Thankfully, I've got evasion. And you might recall I also had that Griffin Stone candy, but I've also got the carrot sandwich, so... Or, yeah, carrot sandwich. Let's use that real quick. Because I should only have, like, one or two more shrill voices on these guys. There we go. 20 experience points. Awesome. Which means that I think everything except for my basic muffins form is now at level 4. That fight is normally very hard, but when you can just lay into them like that, it's not that difficult at all. And I have the tortoise uh, stamp there because boneless, uh, that can stun you. And also, both of them can confuse you, I think. So, yeah. There's that. And for our efforts, we get Cadence's autobiography. Guess what we get in those other two dead ends? 
that I can't do anything with at the moment. Yeah, well, anyway, awesome. Yeah, I, don't, I wouldn't really use that carrot thing otherwise, so... Hmm, yeah, I could buy more items. Unfortunately, you can't ever sell items, despite the fact that that option... I mean, that option's always grayed out in uh, the, the marketplace there, so... Yeah, I could buy something, but it's just not necessary right now. Is it really ever necessary? Maybe at, like, the end of the game. But, yeah, I still got a bit of time after all that, well, saving time between Goldie Delicious and all that. So, yeah, let's travel and to a path not so well-worn. We could do any one of these three places uh, in any order. Basically, depending on what you, well, want to do, depending on how much money you want to spend, as it were. Actually, I'm going to go back and get some more money because if you are willing to spend money, then this is by far the easiest because uh, both the party members we get here can cast the greedy status <laughs> for money. They're basically, it's a handout. And otherwise, if you don't want to, then I would say go to here first because the bosses here are actually pretty easy overall. Not to mention the party members are very good. So, in any case, I'm going to go here first. Hey, Apple Blue. What are you doing here? Uh, patrol? You do that? Everyone knows me. I'm more than a background pony nowadays. Oh yeah, that too. Oh, that's true. Oh yeah? Uh, sure? And, yeah, we get Apple Bloom, who's a, one of the, well, if I say three semi-permanent party members, guess who the other two are? No, of course it's not bulk biceps and, I don't know, someone else. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we get money. Is that in the wrong place? That shouldn't be here. That's the wrong message. But yeah, we get two bits for that. Yay. So, basically, the way that all three of these work, we can, we can take Apple Bloom into both of these dream worlds. Uh, one of them is kind of specific. Well, in each one, it's that way. <laughs> but yeah, each one is... There's one that's basically specific to the uh, designated Crusader, because, of course, that's where the other two semi permanent party members are. And then one where we get to help out someone else. Although, in this case, with Apple Bloom, we have one that's not directly related to her. I mean, it is related to her, but it's not from her own psyche like it is with the other two Crusaders. The other thing is, they can't follow us outside. And we can't bring them with us to well, the so-called final area there until after we've completed both doors. So there's that. And Apple Bloom herself is actually one of the most unique characters. Uh, she comes with completely unique skills. Safety first. Well, not safety first, but and she comes with apple pie, and I think she learns one other move, if I recall correctly. I could have sworn she learns one more move, but I kind of forgot what it was. But yeah, something else that's totally unique to her, if I recall correctly. So we're going to go ahead and, well, move on to our, this dream next time on Let's Play Daydreaming Derpy. Arrivederci.